But I believe God's purpose and plan will come as intended and to the intended end. And here we are in this nation. And there's a nation here in this room, spiritual Israel, that is under the oppression of the queer principalities that are over top of us, that are manning the government, that are working behind the scenes to keep our nation this way. God will break forth and will destroy and will put underfoot and release us from this yoke. So what do we got to do? Get on his side. The Bible says, for all this, his anger is not turned away, but his hand is outstretched still. Is his hand stretched out in your life in just more wrath? Is, is, is his anger towards what's going on in this nation? And then when he looks at you as a believer, is he just, you know, pushing it down harder? Keeping his hand stretched out so that he could provoke you, he could set you ablaze, he could get you out of there, he could correct you, he could rebuke you? Or is this this case where all his anger is not turned away from this nation, but his hand is outstretched to you, believer, in mercy that he could carry you through this? you got to decide today. You want God's stretched out arm to be wrath in your life, or do you want his stretched out arm to be great mercy, provision, care in this life? I mean, we just had a scare. The stupid government sent some uh, warning at 7.30 in the morning that there's like a nuclear meltdown. And I'm already texting Miss Alice and Brother Jamie, like, you guys can come here. But the reality is, is that would do no good. I mean, I looked at the map. If something like Chernobyl happened over here, there's, there, you're not getting anywhere. I mean, I mean the, the radius of complete, almost instant death destruction, those, those 10 kilometers, the people are gone like that, okay? It's, 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 it's serious, right? But the reality is, is that should God decide to use something like an event over there, seismic activity that caused an earthquake, that whole thing slips into the ocean, the, all the waters there are made bitter, the radiation just busts out of that thing, all of southern Ontario is just instantly affected by it, the first, second, and third 10 kilometer rings of that thing, people are immediately having their skin fall off, I'm sorry if I'm graphic, but, but the outside of that cancer just hits you and escalates to the point where you're, you're completely dead due to, due to, due to mutilated cells within, within days. You know, all the way up to the, the northern rim of, uh, of, of cottage country, Bracebridge and whatnot. The, the clouds just pouring up there and is affecting all these people in that same way. Everyone's dropped. If God should decide to do something like that to this nation, it is completely within his power to do so. But would to God, and wouldn't it be wonderful if through those temptations and through those signs and through those wonders, God would have his people just taking a stroll on the beach. Yeah. Right? Amen. Just taking a stroll on the beach. That's God's intended plan for his people in the last days. Okay? The people that are sold out. The people that are blood-bought. The people that are pursuing after God. The people that aren't distracted, aren't caught up in this world, aren't, are, 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 are just deluded with the perversion that's going on around them. That are focused, steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of God. Those are the ones that are going to do exploits. Those are the ones going to be going for a stroll when everyone else is getting consumed Amen. by the floods. That's what God wants for you. That's the calling that he has for you. 